always wanted to live in my very own farm with a white picket fence, a red barn, lots of animals. So I thought what better way to live out my dreams than build a farm in Voxburg. So today I invited three of my subscribers to come join me in building my dream farm. And at the end of the video, I'll be inviting all of my subscribers onto the neighborhood to have a look around. So if you guys want a chance to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment your Roblox username. And this is going to be episode one of my little farm series where we'll be focusing on the exterior and the layout of the farm. So let's get started. So as you can see behind me, we've got a pretty big layout of the farm. That's quite big. Oh my god, Sophia just sent me $10,000. My mother, millionaire, law student, and billionaire. Okay, cash cow. Okay, so here are the wonderful people that are going to be helping me today. We've got Nyla, Liv, and we've got Sophia in this odd cow costume. I feel like I should fit the part. So, you know what? Yeehaw! My name is actually Alaska Violet, and I will be talking like this the rest of the video. We need to name the farm. AV Mutatic Farm. I don't even know what that means. You know what? Sure. AV Mutatic Farm. <laughs> okay, so the first bit of the farm we have is over here. This is going to be all of the crops. And then over here is going to be the farmhouse. Very cute. And then this centerpiece in the middle is going to be the barn. And then we have a few paddocks for the horses, a bunch of animal pens, little chicken coop, and I think more crops. So yeah, we've got a pretty big job today. So let's get started. Okay, so while everyone else works on other bits of the farm, I think I'm going to start working on the barn. You know, fun fact of the day. I actually own like five horses. They are very cute, but very scary. Oh, someone's already got a footpath. Damn. Also, whose plot is this? <laughs> okay, this is putting my farm to shame. She's really good. You know how everyone's like, I want to live in the big mansion. I just want to live on a farm, you know, with my little farm animals. That is what I want to do. I think we're gonna go with like a typical red barn. I'm pretty sure they use like logs. Every time I think of a farm, I just think of that show every parent watches, Yellowstone or something. Okay, let's see how everyone else is doing. Oh my gosh, we already have a full building at the front here. And I'm assuming this is some cute entryway to the farm. Oh, AV farm popping off today, ladies. She ate. <laughs> okay, what's on the top of this roof? I don't know if I should use a curved roof or a gable roof. What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? I also told my subscribers to come onto the neighborhood wearing your best animal costume. I'm kind of scared that I said this because I don't know what to expect. Okay, so I added a gable roof at the top. As you can see, it doesn't really connect well with like the first floor. So what we're going to do is just add like a slanted roof at the bottom. Right, and this episode, does it work or does it flop? I mean, it kind of works, I think. Liv says, oh my God, look at my little entryway. Oh, <gasps> stop. This is so so cute! This is the barn that I'm inspired by. For the roof though, I don't know if I want to do a white roof or a black roof. Actually, you know what we need in here? White picket fences. I don't know why I made the fences brown. Like when I think of your typical farm, I think of white fences. Oh my god! <gasps> the AV farm? Stop. I want this bit to be open. So I'm actually just going to put a double door frame here. I want the doors to look like they're automatically open. So we're just going to use basic shapes because they're actually my best year. What is this? Give me a hug. Give me a hug, I need this. I remember there was a point in my life where I was like, I would never buy the advanced game pass. That's so dumb. Now I'm out here using it every single day. <laughs> I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. Okay, so to make these doors, all we do is just like outline them with some structural beams. And then we can do a little crisscross applesauce. And then we just copy that, add it on this side, and then boom! We've got some little doors. Looks like one of them is working on one of the animal enclosures. So I'm super excited to see that. I do want the outside to look very detailed because this episode we are just working on the outside. And we also need a big window up the top here. You know how in some barns, the top bit's like open? You can actually go in and out of it. I think that's also what I want to do. Usually in a barn, they store all the hay on like the top shelf. Oh no, Sophia just said my dad got home. I need to go. Oh, bye, Sophia. You will be missed. Why did I say that as if she was like dying? So what are you gonna, are you gonna say at my funeral now that you've killed? Oh my god, whoever's working on the pens over there is so cool. They even added little water and food stations. And we need to make the paddocks of the barn. So I think we're gonna do like four each. Liv just said, I'm gonna try and make a custom cow. I'm looking forward to seeing what that turns out like. For the side of the barn, we're going to be using these rural sliding doors. Four $160 for a door since uh when? Since uh when? Oh, I feel like the animals also need some windows to look out of. Actually, now that I think of it, a horse probably won't be able to fit through that door. <laughs> I remember when I used to do like equestrian riding and show jumping and um, this <laughs> is so embarrassing. But pretty much there's these like levels that you like level up on. Much the higher you jump, the higher you get to level up. So I was pretty young at the time, but also these things I'm adding on the side, they're gonna be hay bales. Anyway, I got leveled up into like the experience level. My first day of being leveled up into like the experience level you get to go in this pen with a bunch of experienced riders right <laughs> And there was a snake and my horse spooked and I fell off in front of everyone. It was really embarrassing. Anyway. 
I don't know what's going on in these in these pens. Is that meant to be a sheep? I'm pretty sure either Liv or Nyla is building a sheep. I don't know who done this, but I'm gonna copy this little food and water station. I think I'm about to steal! And I'm gonna add them in the stables. I just realized they're like $1,000 each. I'm gonna go poor after this video. Oh, we also need a fence gate. That way, if you come out here and you want to, like, ride your horse and go straight out, then, uh, duh, you can just open the fence. Oh, you know what we also need in here? A water tank. There's so many things I want to add to this farm. Like, like every single time I build something, I'm like, oh, I should add that. Okay, so we're going to copy this section and then add it at the back. There's a duh, we cannot forget about the back of the barn. This barn, though, is looking scrumptious. Okay, I think that is the outside of the barn all complete. Now I want to finish on the back of the barn. This is going to be a little riding center. So we're going to have a few jumps, a little round yard, some bits and bobs. All right, this section here is going to be like a little ball pen. This is actually made out of sand, so we'll just do something like that. Oh, we can also add some barrels in case we want to have some some barrel racing. If you didn't know, this is how you do barrel racing. Ready? You start here and you go boom, bam, and then you go up here and then you go straight back down. Liv just said, can we take a moment to appreciate my cow? Oh, I actually haven't seen her cow yet. Where is it? <gasps> you know what? It's getting there. It kind of reminds me of that cartoon cow. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a picture of it up. That's what it reminds me of. Are they the little spots on the cow? It's actually kind of cute. I take it back. Liv is killing it with these cows. Okay, and the last thing we need in this pen is some jump. This is kind of like the show jumping that I used to do. So I want to do some cool jumps like this. Oh, wait, I have an idea. If we get a fancy pillar and make it chunky. I like a beer. I like a beer. Put two like that and then a round rod at the top. Oh my gosh, wait, actually, that kind of worked. Liv said, Alaska, I'm so sorry, girl. But this cow so far costs over 3k. You know what? Personally, I think it's worth it. It's a pretty cute cow. Oh my God. We can have a jump that like goes straight into the water like that because I saw them on the Olympics. Also, let me know in the comments like what's your favorite sport to watch in the Olympics? I've got so many I generally cannot pick. Okay, I think that's a fun little obstacle course for the horses. Now we just need to add a few trees around the place. The thing about trees though is that they are so expensive. Like why on God's green earth is that tree nearly $2,000? Looks like someone's getting the same idea with adding trees everywhere. I want to make the farm very like secure. So what we're going to do is add a round hedge around the entire farm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's it's still going. It's it's still going. Oh, I don't know if you guys watched The Walking Dead, but season two of The Walking Dead, which was like the farm season, was so good. Okay, that barn though is looking adorable. To live with these animal pens. Oh, she's doing amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I feel like Chris Jenner every time I say that. Good job, Kylie. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Okay, now over this section is going to be where all the crops are going to go. So, for example, we can have our wheat, our little strawberries. Oh, you know what we need at the back here? A windmill. I don't know how I'm going to add one, but we need to add a windmill. There's like different windmills we can do. We can do like a boring one like this. So, the windmill can be right in the corner of the farm. Oh, Liv said, fun fact, I used to have chickens. Oh, actually, that reminds me. So I used to own chickens, right? And I thought they were normal chickens, like the chickens that just lay eggs. But what was weird was that these chickens, they kept getting bigger. Like, they literally did not stop growing so like oh my gosh there's literally something wrong with these chickens we then found out that the chickens were actually meat chickens they weren't egg chickens i've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment also what is this windmill doing <laughs> what is this you're ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassed lives out here doing complicated custom-made cows and i can't even get a simple windmill like a toddler can do this why can i not do this they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine i think it's i think it's getting there guys okay oh my god what is happening please don't question the chicken <laughs> Are they meant to be chicken eggs? Mmm, lemon flavored eggs. Okay, you know what? We're getting rid of this, okay? A few moments later. <laughs> okay, somehow it just looks worse. Liv just goes, Alaska? No. Immediately no. Immediately no. I see what I needed to see. Alright, you know what? That's gonna have to do. I give up. Okay, now for the crops. Oh, first we need a tractor. Wait, does Bloxburg even have tractors? They have a little turf mower. That is so cute. Low key, when I have like a hot pink lawnmower. Okay, what are we gonna use for the crops? Oh, we can just use grass. And if the grass is gonna be wheat, we can change it to like a wheat texture. Just remind me not to go in this field because I'm allergic to wheat. Oh my gosh, I don't know who added the little pond, but that is so cute. Okay, we'll save the strawberries and the carrots for like the little garden. Oh, we need some corn. The Blacksburg have corn. They don't have corn, but they've got corn fences. That can kind of work if we do something like this. Oh, these can be like the lettuces. I feel like there's a farmer watching this video like, Alaska, you're actually not meant to put the lettuce next to the wheat. That is illegal. 
cool. But then again, I doubt a farmer is watching my videos, so. <laughs> Can you imagine a grown farmer man just being like, all right, time to put on some Alaska violet. My favorite thing after a long day at work. Okay, Nyla said finish this little house thingy. Oh, that looks so cute. And the last thing we can add in here is some strawberry bushes. Oh, we also need a scarecrow. All right, we'll add a little scarecrow at the back here. Call him George. Just don't look at the windmill, please. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, I don't know. I'm unprepared. I think the next thing I want to work on is the greenhouse. So I wonder where the greenhouse is going to go. Maybe we can place it here. So sure, we'll add a little greenhouse right here. Oh, and Bloxburg even added these screen porch windows, which are actually kind of perfect. I remember in school, we had to look after this plant for like an assignment. And I think I was literally like the first person to kill the plant. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just awful at looking after plants. So hey, on a bright note, this greenhouse is looking very cute. We just need some doors at the front and Salem is crying at my door, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a photo of him. He's sniffing my mic and it's so cute. I live just said, Alaska, what's your gardening level? Uh, three. Lol, oh stop. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, I actually really need to get my gardening level up in Bloxburg. Okay, can we just talk about how cute this greenhouse is looking so far? Okay, I would decorate the inside, but I'm gonna leave that for episode two. Episode one of the farm series, we're just gonna be focusing on the outside. It looks like someone else is working on like the second bit of the crops over here. Nala said the inside is gonna look even cooler. I can't wait to see who gets to do it. Me too. I'm actually so excited to get to pick a few more of you guys to help me decorate the farm. Okay, I think the final thing I'm gonna do in this farm before inviting you guys on is just work a little bit on like the outside. See how long this section it looks kind of empty. All I do is add a few trees and like a little bench. It just looks so much better. I'm also gonna put a white picket fence here because this is technically like the farmhouse. House. So I want the section to be very secure, even though you can literally just jump over the fence, but <laughs> So while I work on the landscaping of the farm, I'm gonna let Liv and Nyla finish up what they're doing before inviting you guys onto the server. The AV farm is all complete. As you can see, I made this very cute decal, which is actually adorable. And the farm comes to a total of $327,000 and the inside isn't even complete. So now it is time to invite you guys onto the server. And the chaos begins. Oh my gosh, I'm actually super excited to see all these outfits. We already have a bunch of people joining. Welcome to the AV farm, y'all. Oh my gosh, everyone is already joining. I'm scared oh my yo i'm scared oh wow you just really did not disappoint when i said bring animal costumes we have a lot of animal costumes oh my gosh we even have someone dressed as a cowgirl who is this kiki dragon yes welcome to the av farm y'all don't 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 walk on my crops hey get off my crops excuse me i worked hard on these crops just for you to walk all over them get 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 out of here oh my gosh okay there's a lot going on <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the animals are- <gasps> Ew! These spiders need to be- These spiders need to be burned. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, I'm actually scared. This is turning into a horror movie. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Okay, I need everyone to line up. I want to see all their outfits. Besides the spiders. Who invited spiders here? Every time I see one of these anywhere. I start to cry. This better not be a new thing, guys. You guys literally, you do not understand how terrified I am of spiders. Okay, I don't know who put their car at the front of my farm. I am really concerned. Anyway, they actually done a really good job on this gate. I think this is so cool. So when you walk in to the left over here, we have all the crops. Oh my gosh, why is there spiders everywhere? This is, oh, get away from me. I'm trying to avoid any sort of contact with my eyes with this thing. Anyway, as I was saying, okay, so over to the left here, we have all the crops on the farm with a random penguin. Okay. Okay, and then over to the right here, we have the farmhouse. Is this meant to be a cat? Is that Gordon Ramsay as a spider? Absolutely not. Blank stare. And then over here, we've got the shed. Whoever has this cowgirl costume on, by the way, it looks amazing. And then across from the shed, we have the pond. Oh my gosh, these outfits. Oh, <gasps> someone's just as a platypus, I think. Or a duck? I don't know. Perry the platypus plumber? Whoever's dressed up as the cat. Look how sad they look. They're just they're just sitting there. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that. Hashtag I stole Alaska's lemons. Oh, <gasps> you stole my lemons! How dare you? Actually, technically they're eggs. You stole my eggs. Okay, and then over here we have another little bit of crops going on. What is this? Is someone dressed up as a whale? Oh my days. Okay, the next bit we have is the barn. I'm actually really proud of how this barn turned out. Oh my god, why? Why do you do this to me? I use know how much I hate spiders. So yeah, we've got a pretty cute little greenhouse. Also, everyone's outfits look absolutely amazing. Like, look at this. What? Oh, we've got a pig. I've 
I'm ignoring all these spiders. Oh, is this meant to be a dog? This is actually kind of terrible. Oh my, oh my god. I don't know what that is, but I feel like I should be scared. Okay, we've got some ducks, a chicken, a possessed chicken. Corey, I know you're watching. Who's Corey? Oh, and we have some horses. Okay, and then over here is where all the animal pens are. This is made by Liv. Liv done a, such a good job on this. As you can see, we've got some custom-made cows. We've got a few little goats. Is this meant to be a sheep? I don't know what this is meant to be. And then we've got some pigs. Oh my gosh, we even have people who are dressed as pigs in the pig pen. Wait, that is kind of iconic. Look at that. Oh, yes. And then over here, we've got the chicken pen. Oh, is someone dressed as a baby bear in the chicken pen? That is adorable. Okay, but can we talk about this pen though? Liv made a custom made chicken pen and inside these are like the eggs well technically the lemons but and then finally we have a little sitting section over here this is adorable someone's even using it in their little farm outfit oh wait her outfit's so much better than mine i'm kind of jealous damn and then at the back of the barn we have a little equestrian riding center we've got a few jumps a little sand arena and a barrel actually should we should we test this out see if it works okay is anyone dressed as a horse i need to find a horse surely there is one person dressed as a horse okay hello i need a horse I need to test these jumps out, see if they work. Okay, someone find me someone dressed as a horse. Surely there is one person who is dressed as a horse because I need to test out these jumps. Okay, I've got everyone on the hunt to try and find me a horse. <laughs> oh, I found a horse! You, get over here! Oh my gosh, okay, I found the horse. I found the horse. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> okay, if everyone wants to stand behind the white fences, I'm gonna do some Olympic-style show jumping with my horse, Draco. All right, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this show? <laughs> Everyone is watching behind the fence. Free Olympic show, I know. I don't know why I'm holding the horse. He should be holding me. Okay. Welcome to the Olympic Equestrian Center here at Deodoro. It is day 12 of the games and it is the day. Oh, we fell. It's okay. It's okay. We got the we got the third one. Oh, we fell. <laughs> we fell in the water. It's okay. Fourth jump. Boom. And that is how you ride Draco the horse. Thank you very much. Anyway, guys, that was me building a farm in Blocksburg with the help of three subscribers. I'm super excited to finish off the farm. So make sure to subscribe for a chance to be in a future video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.